What's up guys, it's Catalyst here, and today I'm going to be starting a new series on a game called Starforge. Now this game is a lovely game, I've owned it for quite a while, but it's kind of been at a point where it's in development and I thought I'll wait until it has a bit more in to start recording it. Now, this game is basically almost like a voxly kind of, um, yeah, a voxly kind of survival game. You'll see what it is when we get further into it, so let's start a game. So, what should we call the game? I think nothing better than YouTube will do. Uh, so we're going to be playing in game mode survival. It does have creative, but survival's what we're going to be doing. Uh, there's a seed if anyone wants to play the same world as me. And um, yes, we're going to click that and we'll go with one an infinite world. Now, I've been looking forward to playing this game. I haven't played that much of it, so I don't know loads about it. So um, let's get in. Oh, awesome. So yeah, I, I haven't played it in a while. I popped on like a couple of days ago just to see what the changes were and it's looking spectacular. And as you can see, we spawn in an awesome alien world. Um, now, I'm not exactly sure what this giant pillar thing is. I think it's just a meeting point where people can meet in the game. It's looking very nice. Now, I think the storyline behind this is quite a lot of also sci-fi things. Um, the Earth has been kind of, you know, it's all pollution-y, it's all horrible. So we tried to move to a new um, planet that's going to be nicer. So we're going to try and colonise this planet. Now, we start off with a few basic stuff, I think, on the hotbar. There we go. So, you have a couple of things like this. You have health things that, you know, you stab into yourself and you get more health. Um, we have drills and whatever this is. This is basically protect your base sort of area. Now, as I said, I don't really know half the stuff that's been added. I know that this drill allows you to collect resources. And we need to start doing that as quickly as possible. Now, I don't actually know what this giant thing is. It's got a massive drill. Let's go take a look. Now, you might have seen, it, like, a few seconds ago, there's this green anti thing around. Uh, so yeah, so there are alien creatures. Now, this place does get pretty nasty at night. Now, I think the planet's actually called Atlas, I believe. Uh, now, it's a, it's a very nice world. Now, this game is multiplayer. Um, however, I just thought I'd look at it and um, hopefully do a bit of let's play, see how far we can get. Now, if you guys know anything about this game, then feel free to give me a hand, because I don't know much about it at all. So let's go take a look at this freaking massive drill. Okay, right, so what's over here? Let's go have a look. Does it actually like, have anything that's drilling into, or is it just in the ground? I think it's just in the ground, nothing of interest. Oh, it is making drilling noises. Um, no, I don't think we can really do anything around it. Um, so yeah, I guess this is just a focal meeting point. Now if we look up, there's loads of space debris and stuff, so I take it that's other spaceships that I tried to get through the atmosphere and just failed. I guess we're one of the lucky ones. Um, how do you go into third person? I can't actually remember the last time I did this. Um, it was looking pretty cool. Is it V... C? Ah, there we go. C. Right. Oh my god, we're just a bald guy that's wearing nothing but boxes. What the hell is that thing in my back? A giant... Cil uh, not cylinder, circle. That's it. With a light in. Well, that's a bit weird. Look a bit like Iron Man, apart from without the thing in your heart and it's in your back instead. Um, that's looking pretty cool. It looks a bit manky, actually. Um, looks a bit painful to have in there. But oh well, right. Oh, I think there's a lower gravity on this planet because we could jump pretty high. Oh, God. This game is looking lovely. Now, last time I played this, it was... A, well, I think the only game mode was... I think there was a survival, but you couldn't really do much in it at all. Um, but, yeah, this is looking great. Right, so I think the first thing we can gather up for resources. So we use this um, drill to do it. Oh, my God, look at this ant, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to get very distracted in this because I haven't played this for a while. Oh, my God, he's like a glow-in-the-dark little ant. Now, I do think we have to kill these guys to get stuff, so... um. I'm sorry, little ant dude. I think we kill him with a drill. That seems relatively normal. Oh, had a bit of trouble walking into a tree there. Let's just stab him in the back. Ah! Oh my god, it's, it's not glowing. Any oh, that is awesome. Uh, what do you have on him? He had service pants on him. We, oh, we can have some service pants. Great. Some meat and whatever that is. I don't know what we just got. Right. Oh yeah, so this is the event tree. We got some clay from him. He must have been eating clay. Not very good for him. We've got some raw meat. We got uh, some service pants, which I think we could probably put on now. Okay, so I don't... Did he eat someone then? I think he probably did. Um, actually, we put those service pants on. Ah, oh, check out those. We look like Roboman. We look like Robocop sort of... No, we look Halo-esque sort of thing, actually. Uh, but without a top. We'll need to get to... Oh, was that me making that noise? I don't know. Right, we should probably get started, because at night this place is hellish and we will die. So, I was thinking, how can we do this? Now, we could build a base. However, I think it might be best a better idea to just to, like, mine into the side of a cave and kind of spend the night there. Oh, this tree's already looks like it's going to fall apart any second. I think the animation's a bit broken. Like, the top half is kind of doing that. Oh, yeah, so as you can see, when you click stuff, it's, like, building up what I'm getting on the bottom uh, right-hand corner. I just 
actually going to fall? Yep. Into another tree. Oh my god, the physics on this game. Oh, I, I like that. that <laughs> I'm spinning around. Get out of my way. God, that tree. And then, once it's fallen down, you can like get the separate bits and start destroying it up and cutting it. I do like that. I love games where instead of just breaking block by block, it actually falls down like a proper tree. It's great. Oh my god, what the hell is that thing? We'll have to go kill that. I think in this game, the main thing, anything that is alive, kill it. Because that helps you live. Um, oh, we've got plenty of stuff there. Oh, another green ant. Let's go get that thing, actually. Oh, he's going to make a run for it. Get him. Get him, get him. Run. Da, 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 ah. Oh, my God. Is that am actually hitting him? I love the way we're, we're in, like, the sci-fi kind of future, but our drill is wind up. We're not doing too well. I think most of us stuff probably got destroyed in the crash or however we arrived here. Um. Oh, God, he made a lot of noises then. Right. We've got fibre, uh, which I think can be used to build, like, the... So, oh, we've got two service pants. Oh, no, maybe that's just the same one that we've got. Right, what do we get from that? We've got fibre, which you can use to build more of, like, this jumpsuit. So that's, like, the basic stuff. Could we actually build some of that? Uh, oh, I think we have to get out of this, like, looking the uh, beast body to do that. Right, let's go have a look. Um, can we build gloves? We could build some gloves. We could build some shoes. Uh, we don't need a vest, really. Oh, a jumpsuit helmet. That looks pretty sexy. Oh, no, we need more. We could build a, bit, a few couple of gloves that gives us melee plus one. Actually, for now, let's just save our fibre. Because yeah, there might be something cool that we can build. Right, what were we doing? We're collecting wood. And there's another ant thing over there. I'm going to go kill that. Now, what time is it? It's quite hard to tell, actually. Um, anyway, I think the graphics look lovely in this game. It's just a lovely-looking game. It's one of the games that you can play. It's kind of open-world. It looks great. I, and I'm really looking forward to seeing future updates. And Oh, God, I can't even hit this ant. Ah, come on, ant. Stop moving. Oi! Stop being cheeky. There we go. I do love the way they just, like, stop glowing. Oh, also, I think I got a blueprint from the other guy as well. So we, so we get more blueprints. So we've got a service helmet blueprint, which should... So how do we research these, actually? Um, research. Blueprint is not available. Oh, maybe we have to build some machines and stuff, because I know there's quite a lot of machines. Oh, another ant! Yeah, so, um, this is going to be... I guess this is going to be mostly ant hunting at the beginning. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on. There we go. No. There we go. Right. Uh, what do we get? couple more fiber okay right so yeah as i was saying we should probably get inside right i know what we'll do make like a little house in this mound here for now and we'll just live in there because at night worms like come up from the ground and try and kill us all it's it's terrible um but hopefully well this is from what i'm remembering for a few updates ago so i'm hoping that um maybe it's not as bad oh i think it might be a colony of these things seems to be a lot of these running about but these take a lot of shots I feel really mean. I'm like trying to kill them with like a power drill. What's this? Um, I think that iron ore. <laughs> He's been eating a lot. These creatures don't seem to know how to live very well. It's probably I'm probably doing them a favour killing them actually because eating iron ore I'm pretty sure is not healthy. Now, right, let's start drilling into this mine. Now the way, okay, I say, oh, this is iron. Oh, very nice actually. Let's start getting into here. So. Iron ore and stuff is quite present in the game. Uh, right, so let's keep digging. We want a, a nice little area which we can just chill in. Maybe build a bed or something. And make sure we can set our spawn point, which will be very helpful. Okay, right, I'm not sure whether we want to go deep down or just making, following out this cave. Uh, I think in the future we'll get to building the proper bases. Now there are blocks and stuff, but however, wooden ones are really weak and monsters will just break it down like they're paper. Uh, so we're going to want to watch out for that. Okay. I'm not sure if um, sleeping actually allows us to skip the night. I'm hoping it does. Oh god, this is very close. I feel very claustrophobic in here. Right, let's just keep going a bit deeper. Okay, so you can see at every block we break we're kind of getting extra iron ore and stuff. Now they sp seem to like spawn in these big deposits above ground most of the ores. Now, you can't mine all eyes with this, uh, ores with this basic, um, you know, drill. You have to mine them. You have to build uh, better drills and stuff as you go along, right? So let's have a look. Let's keep digging this place out. Lovely. Oh, God, this is this is great. We're making a nice iron ore house. There's no sun. Oh, there's the sun. And also, at night, um, you'll see other stuff like planets and all sorts of stuff. And I think... <clears throat> 
pretty much everything you get in this game, uh, everything you see, you can get to. Or, I'm not exactly sure how that works, but I know that you can go into space and you can go to other planets and stuff eventually. So that'll be our aim, I guess, to get to a <clears throat> out of space. Not sorry if I'm coughing a bit, I've had a bit of a um, sore throat this week. Um, but yeah, right, so let's continue getting this iron. I think this might be weekend. Oh, right. You have to kind of stand out to kind of have a look how big it is, because in there it's all kind of the same colour and it's kind of hard to tell, to keep account of stuff, right? Dig a little bit more out, actually. At least we're getting plenty of iron ore from this. There we go. Boom. Now, as it's not completely voxel, uh, you kind of can't, it doesn't break it block by block, it breaks it like area. And the way the vox, uh, the way voxels come into it, it's so kind of like you can build blocks and then place them around. So we'll have a look at that in a sec. Right. Uh, actually, should we have a check now? Ooh, okay, right. So we can build beds and stuff. Where are the blocks, actually? Here we go. Now, I've got these basic blocks, uh, low-quality building material, and we have these, which are low-quality building material as well. Uh, so we have two wood blocks. These fortified wood blocks probably the better ones. Ah, uh, these only use one, though. So, mm, let's go with the fortified ones for now, and we'll, like, five... No, six. Build an even number. Right, and they'll start forging it. Actually, it takes time to forge and stuff. It's quite cool. And then we get this cool effect. That's pretty good. Uh, so we've got six of those. That's pretty good. Um, okay, right. Let's see if we can place them. Uh, right. I'm not exactly sure how the building thing works in this, so bear with me. So I guess we kind of have to drill out the area that we want to place the floor on. Uh, oh, right. There. So we're qu oh, and we can sort of base it off of that, I guess. So, ah, this is good, this is good, right. Now there are cool things like, uh, when you're building walls and stuff, you can hold it and then just build along. Now do we want it going all the way to the door? We might as well have it going all the way out there. There we go, lovely. And let's get our drill out a bit. Uh, that's not drill, for drill, there we go. And start chiseling out a bit more of an area, a bit more doorway. This is, yeah, making a cave a home, everybody. Uh, there we go, right. Boom. Clear out a bit of an area. Right, let's build a door while we're at it as well. Door, 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 door. Um, oh, damn it, we don't have enough wood. We might have to run out and get a bit more wood. Quickly, run, 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 run. Actually, this day seems to be... It looked like it was turning night, actually. But I think we had a lot longer than I thought. All right, let's get this. Boom. So I do like the way you collect resources in this game. Although it's not like one block of dirt is just... Well, one block of wood is just one wood. Because <laughs> that wouldn't be the way it generally works. You get quite a lot of wood from, you know, a plaque, a thing. <coughs> oh, God, we better move out the way. Oh, God. <laughs> Dancing trees. <coughs> that is beautiful. I'm worried about getting killed by it, but it's beautiful. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I just kind of had a coughing fit, and I don't know where the dancing tree's gone. I think it glitched out a bit. Right, let's um <coughs> cut down another one. And I went down and got a glass of water. <laughs> I think that might help. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure why. I think I think the dancing tree just gave me a bit of a shock. I'm not sure what that was. It went absolutely mental. Let's just hope our base is still in there. It should have saved it. If it didn't, then we've got a problem. Okay, please don't dance around this time. Oh god, I think we nearly squished an ant. Right. Let's um get this thing. Right, there we go. Three. Four. So I guess the entities disappear when you reload. Um So I guess these trees kinda of count as entities when they're rolling around on the floor and stuff. Especially when they're dancing like mad. Um, that was a bit crazy. Okay, there we go. Right, so let's just grab a... There we go. Plenty of wood. Grab a bit more, actually. We're going to want a, quite a bit, because we've got to build beds and doors as well. Right, that'll do. Let's go kill this ant on the way in. Let's hope we can actually find the door. Oh, come back, ant. Ooh, what do we get? Raw meat and a plasma flare. That looks awesome. Right, let's not go kill that other ant because I don't think we have time. Okay, there we go, we made it in. And, right, let's build a door. I. Door, 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 door. Right, let's forge one of those. The doors are actually fairly expensive, really. I take it we probably place it from the outside in. Um, let's have a go. Where's door? There we go. Alright, so it's kind of like quite a big door actually. 
Uh, can we place it on here? No. There we go. Very nice. And then... Oh, okay. oh, it opens outwards. It just knocked us out. Fantastic. Right, let's close that. Oh, this is lovely. I love how it does have a gap. It's a window. It's a side window. Right. What else can we craft? <coughs> right. Let's craft a bed. Okay, perfect. Is that our spawn location? And... Oh, this is kind of cool. So it's not like a... Taking up blocks and stuff. It's just an actual bed. Let's place that there. What the hell was that? Okay. <coughs> Sorry about this, guys. My cough wasn't this bad before I started. Um, right. Let's have a look. What else can we build? A container. That's going to be helpful. Let's forge one of those. Okay. What we can just place it on the wall, can we? Right, let's place it here. Oh, can we place it? Can we rotate it a bit? Uh, which way does it open? Uh, oh, God, it's quite big. Right, uh, let's place it here, yeah. That'll do. Oh, so it kind of can move around as well. Uh, can we open it? Wooden container. Uh, so can we just shove stuff in there? Let's, um, test. Let's shove some clay in there. Alright, so we, good. It's good storage. Um, we can also move it around, I guess, and stuff like that. <coughs> right. That's looking quite good. Should we have a quick look outside, actually? Uh, actually, do we have any way of light? Um, in here. Let's have a look. Oh, we have wall lights. Sand, sulfur, steel. <coughs> I don't think we have that. And, uh, right, so there's some cool other machines as well. We have one, um, protective spire. We should probably place it on top of the hill when we can. For now, I think we have a flashlight. F? Yes. Good, right. Right, for now, what I think we're doing... Oh, look at our lovely home. We've got a lovely bed. Oh, I think it took our stuff off when we logged out. Our service pants. Let's put them back on. Lovely. Um, I love, what is that thing in our back? Um, maybe that's how we lived. Maybe we had advantage over everyone else because we were like half uh, cyborg. Or, no, no, not half cyborg because that would make us quarter robot. So we're, yeah, just a cyborg. Uh, so yeah, maybe that's why we survived. We were stronger than everyone else. We survived the crash. The rest of our crew died. We've got to make a life for ourselves on this new world. An unforgiving world. Lovely. Um, so yeah, that's our, that's our backstory, guys. Uh, what's what's our guy called? What's what's his name? It's it's um I don't know. What what is our guy's name? If you guys have a good name, maybe Trevor or or Phil. Phil or Trevor or another name maybe. I, th I think we should go with Phil actually. Phil, Phil the cyborg. There we go. And he's, uh, so yeah, we're, we're gonna have to survive on this horrible world. Um, actually, it's not that bad looking from outside. It's, it's love. Oh, now this is what I want to show you guys. You can start to see planets and stuff appearing in the sky. Um, check out that. Now this is what I really love about this. <coughs> Just the view from outside. Now it's dangerous at night. It's awful, and you're probably gonna die. But apart from that, it's beautiful. It's absolutely lovely. Let's just take a moment to um, take all this in. Now, I'm wondering whether it's worth going out hunting. It's probably not, really. Um, oh, let's get this last down. Oh, no, 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 not risking it. Not risking it. Monsters are going to be coming out soon. It's not worth dying. 